So this is supposed to be the largest thermal spa in Europe and it seems like it's the most compact thermal spa in Europe. If you don't leave then you're gonna have to pay extra. Definitely beautiful. Language barrier is going to be pretty challenging. I'm here, I'm right here. I'm right here. Let's go, let's go. Maletas, pon la maletas, put the bags in the boots. Ladies and gentlemen, this is supposed to be the largest thermal spa in Europe. From the Bucharest airport, you get an Uber, it takes 15 minutes. Only cost 35 ron, which is six English pounds. We're gonna check inside and see what it's about. Pick it up. Jefash. <laughs> is it really the biggest thermal spa in Europe? Let's find out and see. A ticket costs around 26 pounds to use all the facilities. You can only use it for four hours. Exit is the exit cash on card. Exit cash on cash card. Yes. Oh, you're offering me cash. So you're asking me cash or card? Okay. Um, no, we already paid. So no, uh, everything you're going from inside. Oh, the, the oh okay. okay. Exit cash on card. Ah, okay. Okay, fine. okay, fine. fine. Yes, yes, yes. So you get these two bracelets. Whatever you purchase, you tap your bracelet and then um, they'll sum up the whole bill for you. Only one, okay. So here's the price, guys. If you want to roll, it's like around five pounds. And prices gets lower and lower. So you can bring your stuff. I just had a walk around. I had to come back to get my camera to show you the truth this place is definitely beautiful however the reality that you well the videos that you see on um, social media in reality it's totally the opposite look at the look at all the flip-flops on the floor looks like a bloody market The view. the view is definitely beautiful however there's a lot of people there's a lot of people here it's pretty crowded um, it's January I was not expecting to see this many people around but you got the nice thermal spa indoor and outdoor as well they've got restaurants around they've got these little clam shapes chairs so yeah, this place is um, well known for relaxation, wellness, massage. They've got steam room, sauna, they've got multiple rooms all over the place. Um, with this wristband here, this will kind of cover a few of the things. But in terms of um, food, slippers, robes, towels, you have to pay everything for that part. But uh, yeah, I would recommend you guys, well this is what I'm wearing on my feet. Guys, if you don't know how to fast, that's great. People that don't know how to fast, unfortunately, um, there is a big line as there's not enough machines for everybody. The amount of people and the amount of capacity that they hold in this place, there will be a line, a really long line. But apart from that, I'll just say, get one of your friends, colleagues, stay in line, walk around, enjoy, switch over, because time is of, of the essence. It's like four hours, four hours of enjoyment, then you have to leave. If you don't leave, then you're going to have to pay extra. As usual, I'm um, quite limited for my side as um, I'm a vegan slash um, almost vegetarian. When you're doing travels like this, you'll be quite limited to eat certain food that you want to eat. Apart from that, you have to improvise. Oh, uh, nice and chilly outside. 
beautiful architectural shape. Almost looks like a greenhouse. Just containing everybody that wants to be in the warm heat. Creating a tranquil vibe. Look at that. Got an outdoor pool. Steams everywhere. That's what I'm about. The reason why I came here is to see if the thermal spa of Romania is the biggest thermal spa and the most prettiest. This is the second thermal spa I've been to. It's pretty decent. Um, I don't know about it's the biggest. Um, it looks really beautiful, by the way. It's definitely, definitely nice. Definitely um, worth checking out. But it's best to find a right season or, well, right month. Before we start, it's dinner time for me. variety here. No recording for food? No food? Okay, I'll record, okay. Alright. I'll still record anyways. So this looks like broccoli, potato and cheese. A bit flavoursome and that's it. I can't describe it. It's, bl it's bland. It's nice. It's cheesy, bland. That's it. So, wait, what, what burger is this? Um, vegan burger. What, beyond? I don't think so. Let, let, me, let me dig into it straight away. Barbecue, juicy, not dry, and the bun's pretty soft. 8 out of 10. This is the only place where you can find chairs outside. And this is what you call a full belly. I'm gonna burn it off today. Are we ready? Are we all jumping in? Yeah, we're all jumping. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the sun down. <laughs> at the bar which is on the right hand side I think it's closed right now they've got like, like a little door you can go in and out so this is supposed to be the largest thermal spa in Europe and it seems like it's the most compact thermal spa in Europe there's a lot of people here beautiful scenery all types of colours you got the bar on the left hand side. Remember, every time you order, you use your bracelet and you pay for it. Huh? Let's send the seat. Ah, Yeah, what? I've been a bit careless with my phone, so I left my phone on one of those benches. I hope no one took my phone. This is my phone still there. Is this place trustworthy? Oh gosh, let's see. Is the blue towel here? Oh, oh my god, my phone is here. Okay, okay. Whew, that was a close one. Alright. Now to be extra safe, I'm just gonna put my phone in, in the locker. I have to put my GoPro back because the lady said I'm not allowed my GoPro outside. So yeah, you've got the top floor. Can I go upstairs? Well, this time I'm gonna put my GoPro away. I mean I am. Just not now. Let's walk all the way upstairs and see what's upstairs. Let's see what's going on. It's pretty dark right now, so I don't know if you guys can see what I'm seeing. That looks so beautiful, doesn't it? Oh, look at this though. Can you see the floor? Oh, you've got the sauna in here. Waterfall! Got a slump belly on the left hand side. That's the Himalayan salt sauna. Apparently, this salt is supposed to stimulate your body and might help you with the blood circulation and all of that. You've got a bunch of um, naked men in the other sauna here. Okay, okay, let me go back. I don't think you guys can see anything right now. 
Right, let me give you a quick summary of my experience in uh, the thermal spa, the largest thermal spa in Europe. I mean, it's been a good experience. However, the description says it's more of a tranquil, relaxing and so on and so on. As you can clearly see, it was really hectic. It was too crowded, too cramped, really noisy. It looks like a theme park to me. Um, so it's a family, it's more like a family thing uh, to enjoy yourselves, which is really good. But I was prepared to come for a tranquil experience, but unfortunately it wasn't like that. But the good part of it is um, I get to see how it was like. And the good thing is you can actually get from the airport straight to this location. It's just like, you can actually have a day trip here. So I'll say around 24 hours. And then after that, go straight home back to London or wherever you come from. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, slippers all over the place, um, people arguing. Unfortunately, I couldn't really record that much. There was a lot of um, staff members telling me I'm not allowed to record, fair enough. I don't think I'll come back here again, but that's my personal opinion. You guys, you might like it, which is really good. So yeah, check it out. Well, as we finish um, enjoying ourselves, well, I mean, I did. Now it's time for the payout. Let's see how much they've charged us. No, not that. Not oh. that. <laughs> Is this it? Yeah. Is this it? You sure? No, you need to click. Select English. Oh, click. Okay. English. Oh, right. Yeah. Scan your barcode. So everything that you saw with my experience, the entrance, food, drinks, clothes, all of that stuff, and cocktails, all cost me around forty-five pounds, around that price. So in your country, or oh, in London, it costs a lot more to have this experience. So I mean, it's a really good experience for the people that want to spend a lot less and really full joy yourself. You can make a one day trip out of it, I'll say around 24 hours trip, come here and then go back home. Today, I'm just gonna call it a day as I'm totally exhausted. Till tomorrow, I'm gonna be uh, traveling around Romania and see what it's like traveling around winter time. I assumed it was gonna be really quiet. Well guys, I'll see you a lot next time. Peace.